Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Mini Tool Movie Maker 7.1. So if you are a movie maker, and let's face it, who isn't these days, this tool is gonna to be great for you. Now if you are getting started, this tool has got everything you need. So let's take a quick look. We get basically a feature rich editor and we get a one click video editing experience. We've got embedded video templates so you can freely export multiple videos and pictures. And it simplifies the whole editing process. And it's user friendly for beginners. And of course you can add emojis, stickers, templates, and you get all sorts of scenes as well. The best thing about it is you can export in 1080p without any watermarks. And it's a free download, and it does get glowing reviews by the magazines out there. And on top of that, you get online guides to how to use the software. As you can see here, we've got videos about making movies from photos, how to merge MP4 files, video editors without watermark. Once you've downloaded the application, launch it, and you get the install prompt. So click on install, and it will just simply download, and you just wait a few minutes. Once it's installed, you'll get the following prompt. So just click on start now, and the window should open up with the application. Cool little transition here, and it'll start loading up. And this is the first screen you're going to see. We've got options to create a new project, options to change the aspect ratio. You can open an existing project. So the first thing I want to do is create a new project. And I'm going to click on this button here. And then we're presented with the screen of the application. And first of all, we've got our media folder here where we can import our media. We've got some transitions here, free transitions. We've got some effects we can add to our project. We've got titles we can add to our project. And we've got motion effects we can add to our projects and titles. And then we get the elements tab where we can add extra elements. Okay, going back to the media, I'm going to import my media and click on this folder here. I'm going to select these files which I've already created. Click on open and straight away they're in there. Now I can import all these into my project or just a selection of them. So I'm gonna select maybe these three files here and I'm gonna click on the add button and straight away it's added it to the project. You can see here, now that we've got some media added to the project, let's take a quick look at what we can do with this and the information we can get. So if I click on one of my media files, you can see straight away over here, I've got some video properties. I've got basic where you can change the contrast, saturation, brightness. You can even add a LUT. They've added a Batman LUT there. So these are pre-installed LUTs. You can add clarity. And and if I don't like any of those, I can reset. Now you can also click on the rotation tab and you can flip it upside down and you can reset it over here. You've also got a speed tab. You can change the speed. So if I reduce this, it's gonna make that clip longer and it will play for longer. If I move the head here, click on it again and I can reset that. Go back here, reset, and it's changed the speed back. We've also got an audio tab. We can fade in the audio. Click on this slider here. It's gonna fade in that audio. It's gonna fade it out as well. And you can change the volume of it as well. But I can also reset again. Back to defaults. Now back on the timeline, we can also add an extra empty track and we can undo that action here. We've also got these little tools here. Of course, this one is the undo the last action. This one is redo the last action. This one is delete. And we've got the split media and we've got crop media. And moving across onto the main screen, we've got our play button, pause that. We've got a fast forward, fast rewind. We've got stop and we can change the volume. Put that down to zero. And we can also change the aspect ratio of the project. Change it to 9, 16, 4 to 3 and 1 on 1. I'm gonna keep it back to 16, 19. And if we move across, we've also got access to the actual timeline. We can zoom in. As you can see, it's increasing in size. We can zoom out. I'm gonna zoom back in. Now back on the timeline, this is our main media timeline. And we've got a music media timeline here. So if you add any music tracks, they'll appear here at the bottom. Okay, so we've got our basic timeline here. And what I wanna to do to this project is I wanna add some transitions, I wanna add some effects, add some text titles, and add some motion to those text and titles, and even add some elements. So let's go ahead and do that now. First of all, let's go on to transitions. Now these are our transition points between our video clips. And you can see these two arrows pointing opposite way. So we can choose a transition between these two clips here. So if we look across here, we're on our transitions tab. Let's have a look. So as you can see, there are tons of options here. Now, these are the ones that are already in the app or you can choose to download some of these and it says here new so we could choose any one of these if we just click on this now it'll give you a little brief visual look at how it changes between each clip which is pretty cool look at this one here and you can see a little preview there and look at this one We've got a page curl let's try that one so all we need to do is highlight the clip we want it to add that transition to click on the plus sign and there you go straight away you can see it's there if we go back here play our track 
and there you go guys that was a pretty cool transition so let's go ahead and add some more transitions i'm going to add this blind one it looks pretty cool so i'm going to press on the plus and there you go it's added it there press the play button there you go guys so that is another transition added so we've got our transitions added let's go on to effects you see we've got colors we've got LUTs we've got artistic we've got common instagram like motion blur let's have a look at LUTs which is new let's try adding one of these colors here maybe we want to make it look a bit grungy outdoor action click on that it will download it and then click on the track we want to add it to click on the plus sign straight away it's added that and if you don't like the look of it you can undo it by clicking on this arrow here and it's back to normal let's add a different color i didn't like that one so let's add a different one here i'm going to go into maybe this warm one so if i highlight this track click on the plus sign there you can see the colors are nice and warm now so i'm going to keep that one let's go into this track click on that one and what i'm going to do is scroll down here maybe i want to add something like flushed so if i click on the plus sign again you can see some more pinkish color there so that's pretty cool go ahead to the last track highlight it let's have a look down here instagram like let's try motion blur trending i might even try the black and white on this one so if i download it click on the plus sign straight away it's gone to black and white okay so you kind of get the gist of that guys it's pretty easy straightforward very similar to other editing software so the next thing i want to do is add some text and titles look at this one let's download it first though have a look and that's pretty cool that's nice i'm going to add this one so i'm going to highlight the track to add to it click on the plus sign and as you can see it adds that text to it with that little animation you can change the text obviously in there and we're going to go here to the top on the right let's say i want to add on tech figure tech figures bid and you'll see that will animate click on the play and there you go isn't that cool let's say i want to add another title to this track over here let's try this one what's this one look like okay that comes up like that it's pretty nice let's add this one this one looks good let's download it have a look at it yeah this looks good so i'm going to add the plus sign you can also move it around here as you can see so i'm going to put it down the bottom where i can see it and let's preview it yeah i like that with the leaves you can change the color as well so you want to change the color of the text change it to pink that looks nice change the background color as you can see lots of different things you can do to that text lots of little attributes you can change so let's go ahead and look at the motion now motion will actually affect anything you add this to so you can add it to a title you can add it to a video clip quick example let's choose this one here it gives you a little preview so as you can see there's a lot of effects here we've got panning left along bottom pan up and along right we've got zoom into the center if we look at that so let's do a quick example of that i'm going to highlight the clip i want to add it to again and all you do is add the plus sign and that has been added now and it will start eventually zooming in as you play it now so as you can see it's slowly zooming in and as it's a long clip it's a slow effect the shorter the clip the faster the effect but if i just speed it along here you'll see it's zooming in and then we've got the transition so if i add it to this short clip it's probably more easier to see so i'm going to add that zoom there and let's play this one as you can see it's zooming straight into the center there a nice gradual zoom now the last thing you can do is add elements which is one of my favorite things in mini tool as you can see you can add subscribe you've got lots of different types of subscribe with the bell little animations you got little circles you got likes and you got arrows so you can do a lot of things here so let's say i want to add to this clip here let's say you want to add a subscribe click on that and i can actually move along where i want it so towards the end of this clip i'm going to press the play button and straight away it comes up there now you can obviously move this around so if i highlight it and then just click on it here put it down here and if i click on the play button again click on play isn't that cool so stop that and the great thing is you've got categories here so you can quickly jump to what you're interested in you've got arrows business emojis love and wedding food mood travel props pets and the great thing is you can do a quick review as you can see here we've got a little countdown clock here and there's another one here and this is pretty cool three two one now that looks pretty cool so i'm going to add that to this clip here just so you can see how it looks so let's download it first click on the plus sign and move it to where i want it to appear and then click on play and as you can see there you go isn't that cool it's got a water type of effect and the great thing here is you can see the tracks in effect here so you can separate maybe you want to separate your titles you want to separate your text you want to separate your media so you can add these all to different tracks so you can see there I've got track one, I've got all my captions. Track two, I've got my elements. 
and the other thing you can do is look over here in your element properties and what you can do is actually flip these you can rotate them as you can see there it's rotated you can also scale it down or up so you've gone smaller it's larger you can do this on screen as well if you like doing those things on screen so there you go look. and you can change it like that this is all available in properties or you can do on screen now if i go back to media and maybe i want to add some music so they've got some music here so let's do a sample of this music see what it sounds like download it let's play it so that's nice i can add that to my video so i'm going to add that and straight away you can see it's gone to that music track here and we're going to put it at the start of the video and we click on the play so okay so if we want to fade this music in just highlight this here in the music properties fade in and we're going to fade out and we can change the volume of it here as well so currently it's at 100 set it to 43 percent play that now so you can hear more of my voice nice smooth quiet background music soothing for your videos so they're all here you've got loads of tracks here and they're all free and there's all different types of music now when you're done with your video you can just click on your export button over here and you can export your video you can name it here you can save it to the location you want you can see there's loads of different formats you can export to resolution we've got three types of resolution there we can change the frame rate and we can trim audio to video length and then you just click on export and the video should be out and ready for you to collect on your desktop or wherever you wanted it to go to so it's an all around pretty good tool and if you do find that you are enjoying video editing as a beginner you can go ahead and get the advanced version at a great price you've got a free edition here of course here which will give you all these features but then you can get a monthly subscription and an annual subscription will save you even more and the ultimate plan at this price is going to save you the most so you get all these extra features as you go up the tier. Now getting this offer is very straightforward. Just click on the download link here, download Movie Maker, and you'll be transformed to this page. And it says it's downloaded, so you open that location. And you can simply just start the download by launching this application. 